What's going on everyone? I have a brand new movie review for you guys today and today I'm discussing Stan and Ollie. If you guys are new here, consider hitting that like and subscribe button because I do tons of movie reviews like this on a daily basis. Plus, you guys can check out Sandwich on Films also down below. Get you guys into advanced movie screens. You guys can check out some movie news and even some movie reviews over there. Stan and Ollie, this is the film that is about Laurel and Hardy's life and kind of the back half of their career before they ended up hitting retirement. And this film stars Steve Coogan and John C. Riley. Now, growing up, I wasn't the biggest fan fan. I didn't really know about Laurel and Hardy until I started taking some film classes, got to know them a bit more, started really appreciating their humor, and the fact that their humor still holds up today is wonderful, and I wish this humor and this kind of appreciation for it would come back, and I think Stan and Ollie kind of umps that over the hill and kind of is like, yeah, this still works, and this is a film that will not just make you emotional at times, but it will also make you laugh your butt off throughout it, and just find yourself weirdly charmed through it and maybe not weirdly but at least charmed enough to the point where this film is worthwhile with seeing um it's not just due to the story that's being told because a lot of the story when you do look into it it's a little not factual but no true story is but it still is a kind of just a love letter to this time period to the time period of hollywood and even to stan and ollie themselves this film makes me want to do is the second i finished the film i wanted to go look up actual laurel and hardy videos and films again and kind of dive into their filmography maybe it's just because of the direction and how well done the film was made but it really comes out to be the two big standouts in the film are the two actors john c Riley and steve coogan both of them giving some of the best performances of their career and i've been saying this for a very long time give john c Riley a couple more years i think this guy will either if he doesn't get this in the next couple of years he will either win an oscar in the next couple of years and if he doesn't i think he will go down as one of those actors who just turned in such wonderful performances especially within 2018 and i know this is technically a 2018 film but it's really seen in 2019 in the more cities but the fact that the guy did the sister brothers last year which was one of the most underrated performances from an actor. And then you go to this film now, and he gives an even better performance in here. It, it's insane. It, the fact is, you don't see John C. Riley, you don't see Steve Coogan, and you see Stan and Ollie themselves, and they perfectly, it feels like they cloned them. And talk about Steve Coogan yet, who I think gave a wonderful performance in here as well. Again, they both embodied Stan and Ollie. You feel their chemistry, you feel their friendship with one another, and you feel their partnership with one another. It's really an intriguing story that, again, isn't all the types of factual, but it is just a love letter to Hollywood in general in this time period and a love letter to Stan and Ollie. It's my final thoughts, guys. Make sure to comment down below and let me know what your guys' thoughts are on Stan and Ollie. Did you guys see it yet? Did you not? Are you excited for it? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Guys, Stan and Ollie, it's a very joyous film. There's a lot of emotional cruxes to it. You're gonna laugh, you're gonna smile, and it's really just gonna make you want to fly back and go back in time and dive into their filmography. Laurel Hardy did a lot for Hollywood at the time, and I still think they did a lot of stuff for black and white film in general. It makes you appreciate it more, and this film made me appreciate it even more. And having Steve Coogan and John C. Riley at the helm is great. It's sad to see that they're not getting a lot of Oscar love, because I think this film does deserve Oscar love. Come on, if Bohemian Rhapsody and even Black Panther can get some love, why can't this film? And I loved Black Panther and Bohemian Rhapsody. I think both these actors are go so under the radar when they perform into these roles that are just perfectly written for them and they can just delve into them. The makeup's great, the cinematography, the music, the laughs. Again, it just overall works. And if you've had any interest in seeing this film, you're going to enjoy it. So with all that said, I'm going to give Stan and Ollie a B+. Your guys thoughts on this one so comment down below and let me know what your guys thoughts are on stan and ollie if you guys again are new here hit that like and subscribe button because i do tons of movie reviews like this every single day sometimes yeah especially when the year gets busy you guys can also hit up sandwich on films also down below because right down there again we give you guys some advanced movie screens we're giving out some for glass right now i know a lot of you guys are excited for glass i'm certainly am thank you guys again so much for watching this look out for my reviews of glass actually tomorrow i'm Gonna see it early, and I can't wait to get you guys that review. Thank you guys again, and until next time, stay classy.